Yo. So today, I just wanted to do like this quick vlog thing. The door, oh, I forgot to close the screen door. We are gonna be selling a piece of equipment. One of these two, got the HS45 and the HS56. The 56 has a 24 inch blade and the 45 has an 18. And my buddy, Ken, wants to buy one of them. And so we're gonna go and sell them. He wants to look at both. And the reason I'm selling them is because I want to get a battery operated head trimmer and some guy in Spokane wants to get buy this Predator engine from me. So, and if we do sell, you know, at least two of the three, we're gonna use that money towards buying a new piece of equipment today. Stay tuned. If you're wondering about the prices, the HS56 I'm selling for 250 and the HS45 I'm selling for 200. Now the 200 is fairly brand new. I've used it probably three or four times, but it's still brand new. I mean, it's barely got any runtime on it. The HS56, however, has more runtime and there's a few things that are broken on it but I'm selling that one for 250 and the HS45 for 200. Let me know if people are getting a good deal or if Ken's getting a good deal. I'm sure he is. This is probably like 50% off, maybe just a little bit over 50% off, but I think it's a really good deal for, uh, you know, if he's gonna buy them. So I'll sell, I'll sell them both for $400 because then it, if he buys them both for 400, I can go and buy a H, uh, um, HSA 56, I believe it's the battery operated or 68 or something like that, or the six, I think it's the 66. And then I can also buy the BGA 86 blower that's battery operated. So I want to get those two and then hopefully sell my Milwaukee and my other battery operated blowers. For those of you wondering, why would I go and just sell my other battery blowers well like i said before i just kind of want to keep it one brand you know what i mean because when you start getting into like three four different types of battery operate equipment brands then you got like all these chargers all these batteries and you got to charge them all individually and separately so if you have one line then it just makes life a lot easier all right so we sold the hs 56 that's the one he wanted with a longer blade and so we still have the hs45 and i just came home and check out what i picked up oh 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 what is that oh man <laughs> got some new things let's check out what we got so i went to my local steel dealer shout out to reagan equipment and finally this came in it's the al301 dash four charger and I could not resist but I got the BGA BGA 86 look at that nice clean battery operated blower we're gonna give this test this real quick throw a battery in there and see uh, we'll do an unboxing on this as well so let's get right into it guys are wondering about the price the battery ran me $299.99 and the blower was $249.99 for the unit itself quick unboxing oh well that's it so there's the charger steel ale 3014 and a few paper manual instructions on uh, probably like you know how to mount it and what certain LED colors mean usually they have like uh, green and red giving you an indication if it's charging or not but there it is right there and here's all the batteries that we got got four of them charger 
So what I want to do is I want to test it with my bull bat. Let's see what happens. If this little bull bat will charge the batteries. Turn it on. 100% on the bull bat. Let's go ahead and plug this in. All right, here we go. Let's see if this will work. Now these batteries are charged. So I don't even know if it'll charge or not it'll work. Well, it did work. Let me zoom in, take you off the stand. As you can see, left side is good. And you can hear the charger working. Battery's fully charged. Putting out about 50, 48. Dropping watts there. So let's go ahead and throw another battery in, see what happens. Second LED. So as you can see, it's charging only one. This one's already charged. Throw the third one in. Fourth one. Got all four batteries in there. So there you are. So I'm very happy that this actually worked because now instead of having two or multiple chargers in my truck with my bull bat, I can now just have this one charger. This is exactly the setup that I wanted. So let me know what you guys think of this. Now let me show you how it's gonna look in the truck. So there's how it looks like in the truck. Obviously when I am ready to trim, just grab one of the batteries and go on my way and start trimming or edging, whatever I use the batteries for, blowing. So let me know if you guys like this setup. Again, this is my gonna be my everyday for my routes. And all I have to do now is just recharge the bull bat which can be done overnight. And then I can just throw this in the truck without having to worry about grabbing all the chargers from the, or grabbing all the batteries from the chargers. So there it is. All right, now let's grab the AP300S battery and try out that blower. All right, here we go. Variable speed trigger, so look at this. Check this out. So you can get it super low, so that way you're not wasting a lot of um, battery life. I do like it. It is definitely heavier than my Milwaukee, but again, it is because we are running the highest, most powerful and heaviest battery, which is the AP300S made by Steel. And uh, well, not, I shouldn't say the heaviest battery, but heaviest battery steel makes. So, I really like it. I like how fast it stops too. It's instant stop. I mean, it doesn't like, the fan doesn't keep spinning or anything like that. Like the Milwaukee one. Let me show you real quick the Milwaukee one. So you heard that steel one stop. Now listen to the Milwaukee one. takes like four or five seconds for it to stop, which is, I mean, it's not, it won't kill you, but just uh, small things like that. So that's a wrap for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoy these kind of vlog styles, I'm not the best at making these, but if you enjoy them, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make more of them. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the new item reveals. Again, we are upgrading slowly to more battery operated equipment. And again, like I said before, I wanna to stick to one brand and that is steel. And let me know if you guys have ever ran the FSA 90 Rs. I was eyeing them at the dealer. They looked really nice. I was debating on maybe uh, selling one of the KMA 135Rs and getting the FSA 90R because it is more lightweight, but it is a dedicated trimmer. If they had a KMA 90R, I would buy it right away just because of how lightweight it is. But these guys are so powerful and the FSA does not compare to the KMA 135R, unfortunately. So hope you guys enjoy it. Take care. God bless you. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you guys run. If you guys are switching over to battery operated equipment for 2022 if not let me know the reasons why not all right take care god bless you we'll see you in the next one